Hi everyone, let's start with another topic that is the myofascial pain dysfunction syndrome, also said to be MPDS. So what happens in this particular syndrome is that it leads to pain in the stomatognathic system causing disturbance, any kind of pain or any kind of issues with the jaw movement and basically all importantly the muscle spasm is seen. Okay. Now what is the etiology first? Now the etiology could either be general or it could be psychogenic. Now general is like any kind of trauma, any kind of muscular hyperfunction. What do you mean by this? When your muscles are like uh, they are functioning hyperly, so they get fatigued, okay? Now, because they are fatigued, because they are tensed and tired, so it could lead to your MPDS. This is the most common issue which is related, okay? Now, any kind of physical disorder, parafunctional habits, you must be knowing the parafunctional habits. Let me know in the comment section, name some. Now, stress, sleep disturbance, nutritional problems, any high occlusion if there, you know, when we are having high restorations, it disturbs the occlusion could be a reason then we have intrinsic joint pain which could be responsible coming to some psychogenic reasons could be sleep on the stomach with the help or with the support of your hand or arm so most of the times when we are sleeping no how do we sleep if this is the bed we'll put our stomach towards the bed and our hand would be resting to our uh, jaw region or maybe near our face region so that is a continuous pressure which you are applying to your facial muscles or muscles of mastication okay you're applying this constant pressure over the muscle of mastication, which leads to this pain. Now, teeth clenching, lip licking, nail or pain, uh, pen biting, anxiety, tobacco or gum chewing. These are some miscellaneous reasons which could be responsible for MPDS. So, what is the first thing happening in this disease? Basically, because of excessive of pressure or because of hyperfunctioning of the muscle, what happens? The normal muscle, it becomes stretched and it becomes pulled. And this stretched muscle or this pulled muscle is said to be a taut band. So basically these taut bands are formed in the muscle which are very tight. Okay. So these are basically the tight muscles you should know and the pain. Now moving ahead, what is the pathogenesis? As I told you, hyperactivity of the muscle happens. Okay. The first thing which happens is hyperactivity of the muscle which leads to muscle, muscle spasm. Now it releases the PGE2 that is the prostaglandin E2. is released as it is released it leads to pain now there is tone the tone of the muscle increases as i told you it becomes stiff okay the muscles they are going to become stiff they have become to they'll become tight so the tone increases and as their tone increases the activity of the muscles are going to get decreased so this is a very simple pathogenesis now you are working very hard for example you're working very hard throughout the uh, throughout the day and what will happen at the end of the day you'll get tired your muscles are going to spasm now when it happens constantly it will lead to pain the tone of the muscle increases and the activity will decrease it is very easy to understand moving ahead what is the terminology known as trigger points okay after trigger points we will discuss one more thing that is known as a uh, zone area or you can also say this to be zone of reference so the first thing trigger points what do you mean by trigger points see trigger points if you see in definition no you can exam you can uh, tell it like a hyper irritable spot in the skeletal muscle which is associated to sensitive palpable nodules which are seen in taut bands so what happens as i told you this is your muscles then you have certain taut bands here which are very tight and which are very you know tired fatigued kind of bands you have in these taut bands you'll have certain points which are known as your trigger points when you palpate these particular points or when you put pressure over these particular points no the pain is going to be very very high you might see a jumping sign a jumping sign can also be seen in the patient when you press or when you palpate these trigger points. They are highly sensitive, okay? They are hyper irritable spots in the skeletal bands and especially near the taut band region it is seen. They are hypersensitive to pain. So, a high intensity pain is felt when you press these particular points and they are said to be the trigger points. What do you mean by the zone of reference? Whenever you palpate or put pressure on these, um, let me put this with another pen. So whenever you put pressure on these particular trigger points, now what will happen? This pain is going to refer to other area. So for example, this is our uh, this is your trigger point. 
when you will press this particular area so yes it is going to pain very much but the pain could be felt in this whole region and this hole is known to be the zone of reference so this is the zone of reference coming to the signs and symptoms see we have different points here we have cardinal symptoms neurological git musculoskeletal so i know many a times you get a short note on the mpts also and so i have made it like this so that you can remember it by each region and your short note could also be turned into a very nice uh, answer so what are cardinal symptoms cardinal symptoms are the major symptoms which will help you to diagnose the condition so patient will come with pain discomfort limited jaw movement clicking and clenching sounds from the joints when you palpate them and of course tenderness of the muscles of mastication whenever you will palpate the muscles of mastication they will pain especially the lateral pterygoid this is also a mcq which particular muscles uh, muscle of mastication is involved in mpds it is the lateral pterygoid then neurological it could be tingling sensation numbness blurred vision twitches could be seen in git nausea vomiting diarrhea we know this is evergreen hai na whenever we have to write we'll always write like nausea vomiting diarrhea now constipation and dry mouth is also associated in musculoskeletal you have fatigue tension tiredness weakness pain at times okay so these are the signs and symptoms which you can see in your mpds moving ahead what is the nature of the pain you'll have a deep quality pain okay it is not it might be a dull pain but it is going to be very deep and it is very continuous like if it happens as the time passes and it becomes severe no it will persist for a longer period of time so it is kind of continuous diffuse dull and deep quality pain pain is more in the night time this should be remembered now always remember this thing whenever your muscle is fatigued it is going to lead to mpds now what are the management things we can go for either you can give medications to the patient of course medications are the one thing we have to do but physiotherapy is very very beneficial okay very very beneficial in the case of your mpds now you can go for nsaids muscle relaxants ethyl chloride sprays now one of the most common example i have here for you is the flexon r flexon mr this is a tablet we can give patient for about 4 uh, to 7 days these are muscle relaxants as well as they have pain reducing quality now coming to physiotherapy whole uh, heat and cold application okay now what happens whenever you put a heating pad of course you know it is going to help in pain relaxation that is one thing which will happen whenever we give a heating pad to a patient but what happens when we give a cold pad or whenever we are giving a cold pad to the patient what will happen it will lead to vasoconstriction what will happen vasoconstriction will happen and this will lead to decreased swelling and pain decreased swelling and pain so your pain and swelling will decrease when you will give cryotherapy and when you will give heat what will happen there will be dilatation of the capillaries and the blood flow will increase the blood flow will increase okay this is the thing now what is cryotherapy basically ice therapy so whenever you give ice pack to the patient that is said to be cryotherapy when we give it in a very painful regions it is going to relieve the pain and swelling very very important thing you need to know here is do not forget at all if mpds is there tens is always recommended what are tens it is very important you see this is a tens machine these are tens patches you put these patches like this on the patient and then you uh, pass certain amount of current or you can say uh, current is a wrong term but yeah certain sensations are being stimulated and these sensations are going to relieve the taut bands so we have taut muscle bands these can be relieved by the tens very nicely so this is very important then yes exercises and yoga is very very important as well face yoga is also important in such case yeah so coming to diagnosis how are you going to diagnose this condition see very very simple thing uh, thing is here that palpation there is no other diagnosis for mpds you have to palpate the muscles of mastication also your sternocleidomastoid muscle okay so these are the muscles of mastication of the stern, uh, your neck muscle which is to be palpated nicely when you palpate them the condition can be 
diagnosed easily now <clears throat> one thing to be kept in mind whenever you're palpating the patient for one to two minutes you have to put pressure on the trigger points okay on the trigger points if you see a jumping sign that means it is positive the patient is having mpds in that particular muscle is stiff very easy thing okay now we have four muscles of mastication i hope you know this so i'm not writing the whole name for example you have palpated the lateral pterygoid the trigger points of the lateral pterygoid muscle the patient has a jumping sign what will happen that this particular muscle what conclusion do we get on is that this particular muscle is having taut bands it is stiff and this needs to be relaxed simple thing jo aapki stiffed muscle hai jisme taut bands form ho gaye hain use hame kya karna hai relax karna hai theek hai this is very easy so this is how you are going to diagnose you have to palpate for 1 to 2 minutes and a good force और गुड प्रेशर इज टू बी अप्लाइड वाइल पैलपेटिंग ठीक है थोड़े बहुत प्रेशर से काम नहीं चलेगा एंड यू सर्टनली हैव टू नोटिस फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ योर पेशेंट ओके पेन होगा तो फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन चेंज होंगे एंड दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू सी ओके नाउ कमिंग अहेड टू दिस वॉज योर मस्क्यूलर थिंग हाउ यू कैन पैलपेट बाय पैलपेटिंग द मसल सेकेंड इज डेंटल इन डेंटल थिंग्स ना देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स यू हैव टू नोटिस लाइक एट्रीजन notice if the patient is having atresion cross bite anterior open bite or if your patient is having very very important erosion or high restorations which disturbs your occlusion as i already told you okay increased vertical dimension should also be checked increased vd okay so these are certain dental points you can look for moving ahead to third thing this is very funny cervical you know many patients they have this complaint why patients many people these days have this problem of cervical pain right you know your neck muscles and your muscles of mastication are related that is the reason we palpate both of them we palpate this as well as this many a times what happen is that the patient is having cervical pain that means there is taut band formation in the neck muscles the back or the neck muscles are having taut bands they are stiff but the patient is experiencing pain near the muscles of mastication region so we'll think it like ki cervical pain hai but that is not mpd matlab mpds is it it is an mpds but not because of muscles of mastication it is because of the neck muscles so your cervical pain and this is all related when you are having taut bands here you will also have pain in the muscle of mastication region when you have taut bands in this muscle you will have pain in this as well in the neck region also so this is kind of related and coming to the last one i know it is very long lecture but this is literally the last thing coming to certain psychological things so many a time patient is not even having a uh, problem it is just stress any kind of emotional family stress we have a lot of stress these days and any kind of you know sleep disturbances these are the common reasons which can lead to this pain sometimes it's just in your brain you're not even having that much of pain but so soch ke hum bada lete hain pain ko right so this is the problem now you see in this picture i want to show you these are the muscles of mastication and here you have the trigger points the one in blue are your trigger points let me just enlarge this for you now you see in the neck muscles these are the trigger points now these are the points where you have to palpate so at this level we just need to know that what are trigger points zone of reference taut bands but yes you should know these are the trigger points we put pressure over these points only to palpate and after we have palpated the pain is going this is the reference zone reflex pain zone the pain will felt be felt here okay you see these are the zones 
so this was all about npds i hope that this is very much clear to you yes you get a short note on it very very often and it is a very interesting and common condition so you know we are not always bound to restorations only or filling or cleaning only this is not our only job problems like this are also our job okay now this is myofascial pain dysfunction syndrome we discussed the definition the etiology related what is the pathogenesis what is trigger points and zone of reference signs symptoms management the nature of the pain which can be seen and of course very very important the diagnosis how are you going to diagnose this particular condition so this was all about the video i hope your topic is clear and if you liked it please let me know in the comment section it will be really great to hear you all and subscribe thank you